So when I read that Galileo developed his ideas about inertia by experimenting with the ball rolling down a ramp, I wanted to know what would happen if I tried that. So I have a glass marble here and a plastic ramp that I can bend and change the shape of, usually used for playing with toy cars, but now we're going to use it for physics. So what is going to happen if I make the two sides of this ramp bend about the same amount and I'm going to drop the ball on this side? Okay, what did we see? What happened there? Let's try it again. Now, it looks to me like the ball went up the other side of the ramp almost to the same height that it was on this side. It's, it's slowing down. You could ask yourself, why is it slowing down? Why isn't it going quite as high? Well, maybe friction, maybe it's bumping here in the middle. But it's, it looks like it goes about as high as it was when I dropped it on this side. It keeps doing that back and forth, back and forth, until it finally slows down and comes to a stop. Okay, now what's going to happen when I change the shape of the ramp so this side is steeper, but this side goes at a more shallow angle. Okay, let's see what happens when I drop the ball now. Ah, let's see that. Okay, let's try that again. And, oh, notice it goes a lot farther over there on that side than it goes on this side. So now what will happen if I make this part even straighter and I keep this part curved. I'm going to drop the ball and there it goes, right off the end. And you can imagine if this ramp were perfectly straight and went on and on and on forever and if there were no friction, nothing to slow that ball down, what is that ball going to do? And that is the idea of inertia. And once that ball has been set in motion by going down this ramp, so long as nothing acts on it, nothing slows it down, it's going to just keep on going forever. So, thanks.